All right, thank you so much for watching the Press Avenue YouTube channel. Today we're talking about WP Optimize. We were asked in the comments on a previous video, WP Sweep, if we'd used this before. And we actually use both uh, for different reasons and we'll kind of go through that. So WP Optimize is a free optimization plugin. It's more of a freemium plugin. It allows you to do a base set of features for free and then they have a few paid ones as well. It's brought to you by the people that make Updraft, which is a popular backup solution for WordPress. So it just makes sense that they have an optimization thing as well. So you can optimize, backup, backup, optimize, etc. So here we are on the WordPress plugins repo, and this is WP Optimize. So if you search for this within WordPress, uh, you'll be able to install it on your site. Really quick, if you haven't done so already on our channel, go ahead and hit the red subscribe button and you'll see more great WordPress tutorials just like this one. So we'll go ahead and get into it. We have a WordPress site right here. We've logged in already, gone to plugins, and now we're gonna go to add new. After you click add new, you simply search for that WP optimize. So wait for it to load. Let's do WP. Give it a second here to think about it. And there it is right there. All the updraft, um, if you're not familiar with them, all of their product lines kind of have this orange uh, look to it. 800,000 active installations and they update it all the time. Um, I was recently gonna create one for it and then they updated the interface. So I wanted to wait a bit and then do this video with the new interface. So I installed it, now I'm gonna click activate. Like any even plugin or change to your WordPress website, I highly recommend backing up before you do anything. Um, so this particular site I backed up this morning, so we're good to go. But do make sure you have a backup before you ever touch the database, optimize the database, or even install plugins or anything like that. All right, so it took a little longer than I expected due to the site's uh, server. Um, but here we are at the bottom, it says WP Optimize, and it gives us three options. And then over on the left-hand side at the bottom, it also says WP Optimize. And it may look different depending on what plugins you have installed on your website. So here we are at the top. Again, it's a new interface, so it's a different kind of look. Uh, name at the top, they say they're the number one optimization plugin, and they, they probably are. And then they have an advertisement here for another plugin they have, which I usually just dismiss. And then the status says, the current database size is 11. I've seen some that are 100, they don't even need to be, and when you clean them out, you shed off like 80% of the site, and you get it back down to 20, 10, etc. So this is a great plugin for that. Tells you what you're running, PHP 5.6 on this one. Uh, general settings, um, whether you manually or on a schedule, these settings apply whenever is, uh, an optimization is run. So do you want to keep data for the last two weeks? You can check this box or not, so that's up to you. Um, you can enable an admin bar link, so what that looks like is if I click here and I hit save, and what I like about this is it actually gives you the option for the admin bar link as opposed to some plugins like Yoast, etc which just add them in for you. So here it is at the top. So I don't know why you would need this at the top, so I'm glad it's an option, but I usually don't turn that on. Uh, scheduling, what makes this so powerful is you can schedule the cleanups. So I can say enable scheduled cleanup for optimizations below. It says it's in beta, I've used it and it works pretty good. Um, so daily, weekly, fortnightly, or monthly, it's up to you. Um, you can optimize the database tables, which I do turn on, but it's not turned on by default. Dumps the revisions. If you have revisions turned on and you use them often, for example, you write a post and you want to hit undo, um, if you remove these every single week, you won't, you won't have those anymore, so keep that in mind. Auto draft posts, so WordPress automatically saves it uh, as you're creating a draft post. If you want those to be saved without wiping them, I would uncheck this. Anything in the trash, WordPress saves everything for 30 days in the garbage. If on the 31st day it then dumps it, this will dump it on your weekly schedule. Um, spam and trash comments, it's great. I think it's great to flush those out immediately. Unapproved comments, it's up to you. Typically I turn comments off 
So this is a non-issue. And then transients, um, you get different things in the database from uninstalling plugins or past stuff just left over in the database. You can dump all of that by selecting that option. Logging, you can choose where, what destination you wanna log and what you want to log. I usually don't turn this on. And then the last feature is track back and comment actions. You can disable or enable them. So there are whole plugins that will enable or disable comments and trackbacks. So it's kind of nice to have that feature in there, but I don't necessarily think it's needed. Next, we'll go over to the database. So again, I re reloaded this, so I have another notification for updraft um, instead of the slider. So if I click database here, it's the same as clicking database down here. All right, so here we are. Now, it has optimizations that are suggested. If I click run all optimizations, it'll just run them all, or you can individually a la carte pick which ones you want to optimize. For example, this one at the top, optimize database tables. So this is the same as logging into my PHP admin, selecting all of your tables, and then clicking optimize, and it'll optimize those tables. So instead of doing that, you have a GUI, I guess you do in my PHP admin, but this one's a little easier. You're already in the back end of WordPress. You can simply select this option here and then run optimization. One thing to note is it has a little notice here. Tables using the InnoDB engine, database engine, which there are 18 of them, will not be optimized. And the reason is what the optimization does is it flushes them out and rebuilds the tables. When you do this with the InnoDB, rebuilding it doesn't actually give you any kind of performance boost. It just rebuilds exactly what was there, hence there's no optimization. Um, you can select to run it anyway, and they have a warning, but you can go look up and read. It, it really doesn't do anything, so there's no reason to force something and then possibly break something. So I actually wouldn't force that. Um, so I would ignore the 18, but other tables that will be optimized are 66 of them, which is great. Uh, so if I click run optimization, what it does is it has this wheel spinning around and it takes it takes a little while depending on how big your database is, how fast your server is, etc. So we'll just give it a second. All right, so that took a lot longer than I thought. Um, but it says here optimization complete. Next, we have clean all post revisions. Um, so it says five post revisions in your database. I'm gonna go ahead and flush those out. Again, if you need to revert back or compare revisions, if you wipe these out, you won't have the ability to do so. One auto draft, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Um, clean all trashed, I don't have any. Remove spam and trash, don't have any. Uh, remove unapproved comments. If you've had an older site, you may have an absolute ton or you just wanna flush this junk out. Um, there's no nice way to do it in bulk from the comments section. Um, remove expired transients. It does have a um, notice here where it says warning, um, intensive on the database. In very rare cases, it may crash, blah, blah, blah. So just keep that in mind. Um, 69 orphan post metas in your database. And then so we'll go ahead and run this one. Um, so cleaning out the post meta, a lot of plugins will leave just junk behind when you uninstall them. And post meta is a great place for them to store that stuff while the plugin's in use. But after you stop using it, uh, that might not be the case. You simply don't need it anymore. Um, but for the most part, I run it and then I turn it off. So I'll go to deactivate. And then some people do leave it in here so you can come back to it. But it's just part of my kind of normal routine for either quarterly or bi-annually um, coming through and checking this. So I'll just go ahead and delete it and be done with it. All right, so thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions like this or about WP Optimize, please leave them in the comments below. Additionally, if this was helpful in any way, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And I'd love it if you click the red subscribe button with a little bell to subscribe to this channel and see more great videos like this. Lastly, check out our website, pressavenue.com. You can click ask a question and ask a question about anything uh, WordPress related, and we'll try to answer it for you via video. Further down, we've cleaned up some of our categories, so you can see our latest WordPress videos here. 
And then we have plugin tutorials, Beaver Builder, and more. All right, thanks again for watching. Right below me on the circle, if you hover over it, it'll say subscribe. Go ahead and click that for us. If you click the square right next to it, it'll take you to our website, so you don't have to type anything in. And then over here on the right-hand side, we'll have a best video just for you. And additionally, it'll have our latest upload. Thanks again for watching.